Hey guys, thank you so much and welcome to Dragon More Gaming. Hey, this is Daniel and we're doing the Dyson Sphere program. So uh, in, our first, uh, in our first adventure we got uh, some basic miners up and running and, uh, and we actually got uh, at least a smelter or two on each. Uh, so this time we're going to be uh, making sure that we don't lose any time or resources. We're going to get a, uh, uh, an output to these smelters so that we can actually get our... Uh, yeah, get get our supplies to an actual storage location, and then we're going to figure out how to make these matrix cubes, which are needed for the next steps of our uh, of our research. So, all right. So, uh, so I think the first thing, and so now that I've realized that I need to have uh, you know kind of an output to these things too, uh, I'm going to have to move this uh, tower. So that's uh, going to trip my power for those guys. Whoops. But that's all right. We'll just put it like right in the middle there. So I knew there was a reason I put a gap there. And there we go. Alright, so we're gonna do... Alright, so how we want to do this. So I think the way I was doing it in like uh, Satisfactory is that, you know, you, you leave room for expansion uh, to keep going with these smelters, so yeah, it goes in one way and comes out the other. So everything's gonna come out this way, so... Make it go that way. And so I, I'm guessing it's the same kind of thing where I have to make sure that they're pointed that way so that the yeah the little dots line up so yeah there we go so we're actually pointed that way so now we're pointed the way we want to all right and then again we have to do start to end so we have to start with the smelter and move it to the conveyor belt for these sorters all right so this sorter is going to go like this all right and we got it uh, so then the next thing we're gonna do, and so I want to make sure that I have some room to kind of pull off here, so I'm gonna do just something a little silly here. So this is gonna go this way. In case we need to pull off more iron to go somewhere else later, that'll go this way. And we're gonna make a storage box, which, oh yeah, we needed the stone, which we should have. Do we not have stone? We have some. What are, well, wait, what are we missing? Oh, we're just missing actually making the thing. That's that's the problem that we're having. Okay. All right, now we got some storage boxes. All right, so we're going to make a storage box. We're going to just put that there. We'll need some more sorters. You built a storage, which can be used to store cargo. No kidding. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. Perfect. All right, so we're going to do a bunch more of these sorters. Because we desperately need those. <laughs> Alright, in the meantime, let's have... Alright, so how are we going to do this? I want to kind of change this setup to be a little bit easier. Alright, now can I build on the water? I guess that's that's a big question here, because I could, could have it go the other way. And... Smelter, please. I love that it it figures that I don't know if you guys have played the game Imperion, uh, but that's a game that uh, you have these advanced constructors that I really like. That uh, instead of trying to make every subcomponent, it just figures it out like, oh, you need all these subcomponents. Well, we'll just make them all for you. I'm like that's fantastic. So I'm really glad the game does this. All right, so we need. Oh yeah, we were gonna do smelting first here. All right. So if I build this like this, can I have the conveyor belt go this way? No, it's just, it's in the way. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this down to like here. All right, because I want to make it so that it goes right by this thing, unless I can have it go this way. Oh yeah, we were gonna make sure. Can I make this in the water? Needs foundation support. So that's a no. Uh, so there's not a lot of room for expansion over here, but I'm still gonna do it and just have kind of like a central kind of storage area right here, at least for now. All right, so I need to make this, that's overlapping, so one square over like this. And heck, I'm gonna. I could probably make it like as far up here as possible, right? 
And then at this point, I'll probably need to put them right next to each other to get in as much space as possible. All right, let's give this a try. And, whoops, let's go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so now we want to tell it, okay, I want my conveyor belt to go from, whoop, F1, there we go. I'm actually going to have it come up, yeah, it's fine. Because I want to have it come down this way. All right, is that smart? Am I doing this correctly? <laughs> I'm not doing it the same way I'm doing it over there. Uh, so yeah. How do I want this to go? I'm just making sure because I want some room for uh, for storage. But we can have it go this way. Let's let's just see how the game handles that. We're gonna have the the igots come on here. No, this isn't going to work because then where's the output go? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> Come on. Once they're done, where do they go? Apparently nowhere. All right. Did I delete it? I got to turn around. There we go. Change camera angle. Whoops. All right. Got to got to plan this out, guys. All right. Cuz we got to have it come in one side and go out the other. Now, this, here's a question. Are there splitters? I want a splitter. <laughs> the game says, yes, you may have a splitter, only if you have 100 cubes. Well, crap. Okay, well, we'll just do it, uh, we'll just do it silly, and then we'll just fix it later. That's, uh, it's all about iterating, it's all about improving over time. Alright, so we're gonna have it go something silly. We're gonna go like this, and we're gonna go like that. Yeah, this would probably work anyway, right? I mean, this. And then we have this side. Take the outputs. And the outputs are going to come all the way down here. And let's build the other storage box right next to this one. And let's have it turn that way. All right, do I have? Oh, duh. Don't you love it when you do a half a job? <laughs> Alright, storage box. Alright, I, I need more of these little bot things to like do their job. Okay, cool, there it goes. Capacity for automation. Set the number. Alright, I don't know what that means. I wonder how much this holds. Does it actually tell me? It's 30 slots. Okay, how much is a slot? I'm guessing it's a hundred of this. It is indeed. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, that's doing this. All right, so it's it's picking up at thirty. This thing is ooh, it's producing at sixty. And okay, so this is all right. So this is where the game is trying to tell you. Hey, you're making 60 a minute, right? That's the output. Let me see. It's slowly picking them up, though. That's the conversion. What does the sorter do? Is the sorter 30 a minute, or is it more? All right, because I think what's happening... Oh, that's just... That's just because it's chewing through all that. I was saying, so this, you know, it only has one sorter picking up. So I think it's, you gotta have two sorters. At least. And it looks like you can, and I think I saw that in a trailer, you can actually have two sorters. You can actually have three, I guess. Or if you connect it to multiple sides, you can do it even more. All right. Oops. All right. Are you working as intended? Yeah, it's moving it two at a time, and I guess when it's blinking like that, it means yes, I'm doing, I'm doing my job. All right. All right. Well, sweet. We're picking up. Uh, we're picking up resources now. Okay. All right. We want to do the same thing over here, and unfortunately, we haven't told these smelters what to do yet. 
All right, so step one, power. That is necessary. Cool. All right. Step two, we need to tell it what to do. You're going to do copper. And you copy and then, oh yeah, what is it less than? Paste and paste. All right, so now they know to do copper. Now I just need to get the copper in there. Copper in, copper in, copper in. Perfect. And then copper. I need to. I already need to make more of these. I know. We'll get those going. And I need more of this. Whoops. Am I still on the? Whoops. I guess we're getting a lot of that. All right. We need. There we go. All right, so we're going to be making more conveyor belts, too. All right, so just getting those queued up. So back to this sorter. Bam. Okay. And now we're depositing it here, and we need a sorter to bring it on here. And we'll go ahead and do two. And away it goes. All right, do those... Oh, oh, the sorters need power, too. I mean, I mean, I guess that makes sense. All right, well, we'll do here. No, we gotta have, there we go. We wanna make room for whatever's gonna come this way. Thumbnail. All right, and I can't make Lower it between, the, yeah, I made those really. Or press the M key to try the planet view mode. Okay, I don't know what I did to deserve this. All right, M. Cool. Oh. In the planet view mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button drag, rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button. Drag to roll the angle of view. Press N key to point to the front to the north pole. In the planet view mode, slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. Oh. <laughs> Okay, start map mode. Oh my. Kifo Borealis is where the Icarus is. Alright. Cool. Alright, can we go to these other places? Oh, this, this one's like tiny. Oh, this is, oh, this is a gas giant. Okay, cool. So we're on this guy, surrounding a gas giant. So we're like on the moon of Jupiter right now. That's kind of what we're at. All right. Huh, all right. Unknown, unknown, unknown. All right, so we don't know what we're doing. All right, how do I, how do we get back in? You didn't tell me how to get back in, game. Okay, can I click on my Icarus? Don't you love the new games? You're like, all right, I don't even know how to do anything. I don't know how to get in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No. Hit the enter key, double click, right click, middle click, zoom in. I'm like, I'm in the middle of the planet as far as the zoom is concerned, and it's like, no, we're good. I feel like the tutorial is supposed to tell me something, but it's not. Alright, spacebar. <laughs> Love it. Anybody know how to get back to the planet? Come on. Alright, I, I got my dude. Alright, give me give me something. Give me give me in here. What's that do? I don't know what this is. All right, not helpful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just escape, escape back. That's what it meant down there. Escape back. I'm like back to what? I thought it was gonna be a menu, but no, you just hit escape. Wow. <laughs> We're learning. <laughs> 
All right, all right. Let me figure out what I was doing. All right. All right. When we last left our heroes, all right, we got uh, we got power to the sorter, so they're actually picking stuff up now. And oh yeah, we're we're going gangbusters on that. We got three smelters going on. That's why we can't even pick it all up. All right. So I figured I'd do that. Oh yeah, we should, we need to power our mech. Uh, is that what these are for? Okay. The more increase of the mech and fuel power. Like, I want to use these, but at the same time, I want to save them because I don't know if, uh... Oh yeah, I, I realize that you can actually add <laughs> multiple fuel sources. Can I add, like, raw... Th no, fuel only. I was like, can I... <laughs> I want to burn copper and iron because I don't want to deal with it. What happens if you throw one on the ground? Can you do that? Wait, where'd it go? Did I do it? No. Okay. Alright, whatever. Can I dump this? Yes. Some of it. Dump. Alright, slowly over time that can all be there. Alright, how are we doing on power? Uh, we are not doing good. We need some more power. I think we should just go ahead and have that at the ready. Aha! See, too close to another, it's okay. So, like, I just did it on accident, but yeah, you can't place wind turbines too close to each other. I mean, because that just makes sense. Alright, let's just go ahead and make those. Alright, so we have the matrix cubes and the matrix lab is apparently the other thing we got out of that so research here we go matrix lab this is how we produce our matrices all right the more matrix lab the faster production and research speed okay cool let's do that um i don't even know what the inputs are all right well we can always move things whoops so let's just flop it down here what are you? What do you Matrix need? Matrix Lab. You can use it to make super matrices. Super or matrices. Research technologies that require them to unlock. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. You can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. You can be benefit to unlock. Guys, I just want you to know that. Can't be perfect. All right, uh, all right. So the homo simultaneously matrix lab introduction. All right. So tell me. Oh, oh, you can stack them. That's cool. All right. This is how we produce matrices. Research mode is consume. Research mode. The research mode is to consume the super matrices. Oh man. Ugh. I love the English. I'll see that. Okay. So you see what it. You guys see what that had? Alright, so they have like the multiple lines. So kind of like the, the Factorio style where you have like different lengths of those little uh, arms that you can like pull off. So in this game, they just made it all one item, which is nice. But uh, okay, so they have this kind of like bus system where everything kind of comes in and you just throw it all in there. Okay, I like it. All right, so let's see. This will greatly increase the research speed by using multiple matrix labs, which we're definitely going to do. All right, and each matrix lab contributes 60 per second. Uh, only put all the matrix that require the technologies in the matrix lab will start the research. All right, matrix labs can be built in plan surface. Can also be built in vertical direction. That's cool. Uh, only supply. So really up to the lower level, the matrix lab will automatically. All right, so okay, so you don't have to do anything special. They just they just require more. You're just adding on. There's nothing special about transporting the goods elsewhere. Okay. So I don't know what it means by uploading the super matrices to the central brain. I don't know where that is or what that is, but all right. Choose node. What? Whoops. What did I do? Reset. Okay. The matrix. So it's produce and research. Choose node research. And research. 
Research mode. Okay, this is what I meant by research mode. So you can put the matrix lab in research mode. It'll automatically research on the progressing technology. Okay, I like it. As opposed to produce, which is one of the five basic research five basic source codes. Okay, so there's like some of the other games, there's different levels of these matrices. So this is like the level one, I guess, the the electromagnetic. And we'll need multiple uh, over time, but I guess you can keep uh, keep the brain stimulated as foundation of all scientific. So I guess this just puts them in your inventory, and I guess you just use them later. All right, so let's just make. I like the automated style of like let's just put it in here, and uh, it'll figure itself out. All right, so let's activate one of these things: smelting purification. So what what are our choices here? So we got steel. We got improved logistics. Let's get the sorter. I want a sorter. And a Mark II sorter, which is what? Three trips per grid. I don't know what the <laughs> terminology means, but let's see. What, what does the first one do? This sorter is. Oh, yeah, and this is, this is what gave us storage. Okay. One and a half. Okay, so the, the second sorter is double speed, I guess. I don't know why they measure it in trips per second per grid. I uh, have to try to figure out what that means. But we do know that this one is twice as efficient. Or twice as fast, at least. Okay. Alright, so we, we got that. Lack of matrix. Well, no kidding. You gotta make them. Why don't you make them? Alright, so improve logistics. Alright, da 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 da. So the matrix lab. So am I supposed to make them first, and then they just kind of get used? Is that what's going on? Produce. So I either produce or I research. Is that so? They don't go into my inventory. They just go into the inventory here. No, no. Okay. So this takes magnetic coils and circuit boards. All right. So we're gonna have to automate magnetic coils and circuit boards. All right, so that's that's the first step. All right, so where do we want this? Uh, and we'll just get some of this stuff out of the way here while we're thinking about this. All right, so we want to have, like I said, the here's here's where the storage is going to come in, and I might make a little bit more room for maybe like two or three of these. Uh, can I walk past this? Yes. Okay, good. Not a lot of room there, but can do it. Because I was thinking about adding some more storage boxes there. All right, so then we have the, uh, and of course we can do three dimensions with the conveyor belt. So we'll definitely have to try some of that out. Now, where do we want the production? Maybe we'll make it this way. So we'll get get rid of some of this stuff. Get out of here. Alright, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to add a couple more storage boxes just to have for storage. Uh, and then I'm going to pull the lines. Uh, I guess we have this kind of, I guess we can sort of be like a bus, I guess. I'm having to go out whatever direction, we'll say this way. And then so we'll pull off uh, each of the stuff we need this direction for a few assemblers. Yeah, assembly machines. We'll have these over here, and this will actually produce our stuff. Let's see, so what do we need for this guy? All right, so the magnetic coil takes magnet. All right, so how do we make magnet? Oh, the smelter makes magnets? Hold up. Wait a minute. All right. Hold on, hold on. All right, smelter, please. All right, I feel like we're gonna need a lot more smelters and a lot more other stuff. All right, yeah, let's get. Oh wow, this is this is too good. All right, we got we got a bunch of this stuff. All right, get out of here, and then let's go over here. I wanna rid of more of my don't need ore anymore okay 
All right, so we want to try... And I'm just placing these down randomly just to look at the patterns here. All right, so these... Okay, so these can just make straight-up magnets. Okay, so that's... Because that's what we'll need there. Oh, and there's some... There's glass. Okay. So the smelter does glass, stone, magnets, and then, of course, the iron and copper ingots. All right, so we need... We need some iron ore to a magnet. I wish it told you the rate at which it does these. It says 1.5 a second. And I'm trying to think how that relates to, say, this. Because this is producing at like 130 when it's doing its thing. Okay. So that's only confusing. All right, but yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. So we want a smelter that does magnets to go to the assembler. It's one and a half, and then it takes two. All right, so let's see if we'll see if we can figure out how they want us to do these ratios. So this wants us to do two magnets and one copper ingot makes a magnetic coil. So we need two. But this thing only produces at one and a half. So if we do two of these, we got what's that? So uh, <coughs> math <laughs> three. So yeah, so one and a half. We get three out of that. All right. So what's the common denominator there? Because we need two. So double that is four. Still not right. Six, right? If we did triple. I'm <laughs> struggling with basic math here, guys. So if we if we multiplied it times three, we'd have six there. It's just the it's just the ratio. We just need fifty percent more of smelters than we do these guys. So okay, so we'll do uh, we'll do two of these, and then uh, and then one of the copper. Right, that's all we need. That's what we'll start with, <laughs> and then we'll expand from there. And then, man, it gets dark on this planet often. Okay. All right, so how do we want to do this? So there's there's kind of the there's the factorial way of doing it, where you kind of pull off into these little sub factories, and then and then there's the satisfactory thing where you just pull it, you know, all into this kind of factory bus system, which I prefer. So let's I wonder if we can get that going here. Okay, so so this area, if you will, is going to be my production for uh, for everything we need for the research. So the magnetic coils and the circuit boards, which I haven't even looked at the circuit boards yet. Right. Circuit boards are just iron ingots and copper ingots. Okay, got it. Is this one to one? Or right, two to one? Okay. So we're need we'll need lots of iron. So, so this other uh, this other gatherer is definitely gonna have to go down on the iron. Alright, let's see. I can get this like really all up on here. Alright, what does this do for me? Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna do there. All right, that's gonna get us some more iron. I guess we should give it power. Whatever. <laughs> All right, we're slowly coming together, guys. All right. So I'm trying to think how we want this. So we have um, we have some iron coming in that I just wanted for like place just to, for us to kind of play with. Uh, but we'll need kind of a separate thing going on for, and maybe we just incorporate this and <laughs> take this off and have its own smelters come down here for storage. Um, all right, let's move this guy. Oops. All right, you're gonna be over here for now. Okay, then delete that, delete that. Oops. So we want more smelters, definitely. Alright, 
I'm just gonna put it like right up on it. And the reason I'm gonna do this is that I'm actually gonna take these two smelters and I'm gonna incorporate them into the uh, in this other factory. I'm gonna have this smelter is gonna be the one that comes down and actually services the storage. And that's gonna come from this guy. Uh, so this might look a little silly, but uh, bear with me. Just trying some things out, right? So typically my factories are not clean, but they work. That's that's kind of the goal. All right, so and I did want to go ahead and put down these other stores just so they're there. Now I keep moving my guy like he's you know he has to be near stuff. So can I actually just like pull this from like anywhere? Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking, like I can, I can just pull that where, like, you click it, you pull it, done. All right, so that's good to know. All right, so we'll give me. All right, I'm gonna need some more stuff here. We need magnets, which means we need ore. Well, crap. Just remember when I like put all the ore away because I didn't think I would need it. Whoops. All right, magnets, please. Just make it all into magnets. And super magnetic coils, actually. Okay, got it. All right, so while that's doing its thing, we're gonna... What are we gonna do here? All right, logistics. I wanna get another smelter on this just so we have the two smelters again. So give me back. Production. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. All right, how do I cancel these things? Again? Okay, there it goes. Oh, it is actually in the queue. So maybe it's just, I don't know how far out the queue goes, but that's pretty cool. All right, get a bunch more smelters, get a couple more boxes. All right, how are we doing on Tesla towers? Yeah, we'll need more Tesla towers. All right, so we got our uh, we got our guy building a bunch of stuff that we'll need here. All right, so you're definitely going to be iron, and you're going to be going from here. Oops, I need conveyor. There we go. So I'm gonna have it go like this, and of course it has to go around this thing. Angle too wide. What does that mean? Why? I don't understand. You're literally just going from here. <sighs> what? Don't understand. I really don't. Angle is too wide. I mean, you're just doing a right angle. Like, you do it all the time. Explain. Is there something in the way? Alright. I'll get it. What about up? Must be horizontal when turning. What? Don't understand. What if I just do this? Alright. It's like a little hill here or something, I guess it's screwing it up. Unknown. Alright. Either way, here. And then over one. And then to here. Okay, so that's where the ore is gonna go. All right, it's the little bot deals are doing its thing. All right, and then we're gonna have to make another one here. And we're gonna do a sorter. You know, I didn't make any room for this to go anywhere, did I? Oh, planning, isn't that great? All right. Yeah, we need, I keep forgetting, we gotta have something on the back side for it to go out. All right, da, da, da. So we're gonna have... Just to make my life easier, let's just go ahead and cut that off. Okay, like that. I wonder if I can really fit these in here. Oh, 
All right, and what I'm gonna do here, so I'm gonna take this and run it far over. Now, I think it'll stop, so even though it's the one bordering it, if I don't have a, yeah, because if I don't have like a splitter or anything, oh, hello? There it goes. Then it should be good. Now we do the sorter thing again. Yeah, that'll work fine. Okay, and then hey, let's do our little shortcut. Copy, paste, paste, paste. All right. Oop. And then we just need a oh, not power for this one. Just a little more there. And then we have our outputs. Oh no, power! Uh oh. Okay. Well, I just want to finish what I was doing. Alright. And then. I just want to catch these things while I'm thinking about it, right? So, like, I want to. Come on. There we go. Alright, we need power. More wind. Alright, I got four more of these doodads. Okay, there. There. We'll just keep going around around the lake here. Alright. And then I should probably... Oop, I have one more. So for these, I'm actually going to start making these closer together since... Uh, since they have to be a minimum distance, so that way I can get in as many as I can. Soil pile, whatever. All right, so we're uh, we're actually making some stuff here. Look at that, and we got these that are uh, these are gonna get pulled off actually and used for uh, for making the uh, the stuff we need for the research. So this is gonna go to assemblers and stuff, but. Uh, all right. Oh, I. This is not connected. Why are you not connected? Why are you not connected? There we go. All right. Is it pulling materials? Man, I have <laughs> gotta figure out how these guys are doing this stuff. This is not working. All right, so it is working. So you don't have to have the filter. On it, it just automatically will pull whatever. Okay, so that is good. All right, guys. So uh, we're getting more automated. We got more power. We got more uh, more production on the iron, which we'll definitely need. And then, uh, yeah. So uh, so definitely next time we'll definitely have the uh, the matrix lab fully set up. That'll be the next big step. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed uh, a little bit of gameplay of Dyson Sphere. So we're just. Uh, it's kind of starting off just kind of like a, uh, a factory or satisfactory. We're just getting kind of basic mining and uh, you know, smelting underway. Just so we have plenty of materials to work with. Um, and just been queuing up a whole bunch of the, uh, the, the building. I guess we can call them buildings, right? The, or just the little bits that we need, right? We always need conveyors. and might as well have some more power getting ready. Uh, we'll even have an extra one of these just so we can see the verticality thing going on. But guys, uh, I'm going to... <laughs> as my energy is dying I think that's a good place to call it and uh, we'll do some additional mining of trees just to make sure we have enough power uh, so guys thank you so much for watching stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one